<laughs> I didn't even feel it. Hot dog in the hallway. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Cooking Unscripted. Pot of boiling water, cheese grater. Can only mean one thing, mac and cheese. Now we are going to be making a kid-friendly mac and cheese. And for the most part, I would say kids, with kids it has to be yellow because that's what they equate mac and cheese to. Velveeta shells and cheese, Kraft macaroni and cheese. So we are going to make a yellow mac and cheese, but we are gonna bake it because I like to bake mac and cheese. First and foremost, we need pasta. I don't, even for kids, I don't use elbow macaroni. I use cavatappi, which is like the squiggly pasta. It's the squiggly pasta. It's the squiggly pasta, damn it. We're gonna cook this for, I should probably wear glasses. Six to eight minutes. So we're gonna cook it closer to the six minute mark because again, we are going to put sauce on it. We are going to put it in the oven. We are going to bake it. We do not want overcooked mushy pasta that apparently somebody made not long ago. We won't point out names. Water boiling for reference sake, three quarts of water to one pound of pasta. If you have to cook more pasta, either have more pots or do it in batches. Heavily salted, not crazy salted and in. So give your pasta a good stir, bring it back up to a boil. Alexa, set timer six minutes. Mac and cheese, you wanna grate your own cheese. Whether you do it on a box grater or you do it with a grater that your wife got you during your first marriage, either way, you wanna grate cheese. You can use the bag stuff, but the bag stuff actually has an anti-caking agent in it, which can or will make your cheese sauce gritty. So we are going to use fresh cheese. What, what's the matter? Cheese, where's my fresh cheddar? Mm. And just like that, cooking unscripted, had to go to the hospital. Look at that. What's fine? <laughs> that was fun, is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, to make the sauce is pretty basic. Yeah, I'm a basic bitch. Remember, we're making a roux, so you want equal parts flour, equal parts fat. Four ounces of butter. Make sure you get it all. Scrape it. Mantegilla. All right, so we have our butter which is four ounces of butter, quarter cup. Da -da 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 -da. I wish these guys were still in business, not in business anymore. I'm trying to remember what they were called. It was like chef, chef pads. The girl who owned the company was really, really nice. And she sent me those. Anyway, back to scheduled programming. We got our flour, quarter cup. Alexa off. Damn, that was a fast six minutes. So I'm turning the heat down. So we want to cook our flour and get that flour taste out of it. Our pasta is done. We are going to return that to there. Come on, there we go. Every time, Skeletor gets a little bump. Yeah, that's Patreon. Watch me fuck up, here we go. All right, so we have that nice little nutty smell from the roux, and then we need roughly about four cups of milk. You can use a combination of milk, half and half, milk and heavy cream. Just kind of really depends on what you like. We're gonna bring this back up to a boil. It will begin to thicken and then we will add our cheese. Our sauce is getting there. It's almost thick. And basically what we're making is a bechamel. We don't have onions in it, we don't have nutmeg in it, but that's basically what you're making. You're making cream sauce, one of the five French mother sauces, and then we're gonna turn it into a cheese sauce. If you wanted to make cream spinach, you would make the exact same thing with onion. Saute off some onion when you're cooking your butter, then add your flour, your cream, your milk, and your cheese, and a little bit of zest and nutmeg, salt and pepper, and then you have sauce for your cream spinach. Super easy. So as you can see, hopefully. <laughs> Still haven't learned. It goes all the way back to like the first episode. <laughs> that it's nice and thick, doesn't take long. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to take cheese, glorious cheese, and get in there. So it should be about like four cups, a couple pounds. I'm gonna turn the heat down and then we're gonna let this melt. Now again, kids' mac and cheese needs to be orange. Like they don't, yeah. it needs to be orange. Now flaming hot mac and cheese, probably not a bad thing. Is it gross? It felt wrong. There's our orange mac and cheese. Let's taste. Needs more cheese, needs more cheese. We are going to put cheese in it when we layer it and then cheese on top of it. All right, let's put some more cheese in there. We need some cheesy, 
Cheesy. I want to be the cheesiest coach. Oh, cheese. So we're gonna put our sauce in there. Notice how it's nice and smooth and creamy and delicious. Huh? I don't know, probably. Let's get in here. Come on, Jay. Get up in close. Get in my shit. Baby got sauce. So we're gonna butter this. A little bit of butter. Might not be good for your cardiologist, but I don't care. My cardiologist says it's fine. Uh, Bing, bing, bing. So that's in there. We got our sauce cheese. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of layer this. So we're gonna throw in our creamy, delicious cheese. She is beautiful. And then we are going to put some cheese. It's like honeycomb. It's very pretty. And then we are going to layer the remaining mac and cheese on here. And then. We're going to put this in the oven. Now you can put breadcrumbs. Again, I'm trying to make a kid-friendly mac and cheese. Most kids don't like breadcrumbs on top of their mac and cheese. But, come on, come on, Joe, you can get in there. What, you're always in there? God, I don't feel it. Anyway, we're gonna put this into a 350 degree oven until it's cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, fresh out the oven, it smells good. Big spoon, big spoon. All this reminds me of is fucking Jim Gaffigan. Hot pockets. Boiling lava hot. Everything will taste like rubber for a week. It's fucking hot. <laughs> Not much of a blower. Okay. More of a liquor. Oh my God. It's good though. Mm-hmm. Mac and enough. It's cheesy enough. If you're looking for a simple, easy mac and cheese, you can see what this makes. It's pound of pasta. Probably get four or five days worth of kids' meals out of this. You can add some buffalo chicken, some pulled pork. You can roll it up, bread it, fry it, make macaroni bites. There's all kinds of things you can do with this. It's your basic run-of-the-mill recipe, but it's so good. I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, notify, ring the bell. And I will see you guys next time. Much love. Mac and cheese for life. Until next time. Ah! <laughs>